so think about the type of data that that AI ne really needs, right? So in particular, let's talk about adverse events. So car crashes, um, things that have a really high cost in the real world. Uh, yeah. You want to get this data from simulation because you don't want to actually put people in danger, right? And so um, in addition, when you're playing video games, you're essentially transferring your um, your own perception, right, uh, into whatever device you're using to uh, control your game character. And that game character can sort of be referred to as, as an embodiment, right? And right. so um, as a result, it is this, you know, very, very good representation of spatial temporal reasoning um, oh. and uh, over uh, usually long horizons, which is... Games also have this very nice character of having a very clear reward signal, so you can understand whether you're progressing correctly or not correctly as you're doing things, which is very, very important for um, for training to get that type of feedback, right? Right. And so it is a um, similarly to how um, programming, for instance, really accelerated LLMs. Right. Games are the equivalent of verifiable domain for uh, spatial temporal reasoning, and so as a result. Um, it's incredibly important, 